Hello students, at another new beginning, new start, new session, this is again your SD sir from the Temple of Excellence with the Ashram Pre-University College. Now a very interesting session. In today's session, I will be discussing completely about a beautiful topic called capacitance. In my first class, if you remember, I told, I iterated the word capacitance because it was the impact of potential. Now, I have finished my discussion on potential, a new session where I will cling on to the study of capacitance and effectively deliver to you all an electrical device called capacitor. I will teach you all the construction of a capacitor, principle of a capacitor, and different ways in which a capacitor can be combined. So this is the hawk eye interest, hawk eye view of what I will actually discuss in the remaining two sessions. Fine. Before going into the core idea, let us recall things that we studied in our previous session. You remember, we discussed something called electrostatic shielding, how sensitive instruments like galvanometers, ammeters can be used to work effectively without the influence of strong electric fields. We discussed dielectric materials polar and non-polar materials and finally we discussed something called dielectric constant. So dear students, my first topic of discussion is capacitance, electrical capacitance of a conductor. Still, I am not speaking anything about a capacitor. First, I will make you all realize as to what is electrical capacitance of any conductor. And to understand this, you will answer a very simple question. I consider a sphere, uniform surface in tail kotidini, regular surface. Since this is a uniform surface, we told charge distribution will also be uniform. Gauss law, spherical shell derivational mention mark there. Since it is a uniform surface, since it is uniform distribution of charges, the system behaves like a point charge. So in and consider Madhidinili, there is a spherical surface uniform surface, regular surface on which there is uniform distribution of charges. My dear friends, I say Q is the amount of charges. It is the number of charges 
distributed on this surface under a potential V. So on the spherical surface, what did I consider? Q is the amount of charges, number of charges distributed at a potential V. Since I told point charge distribution, we wrote potential V equals 1 by epsilon naught Q by R. So my first question is, if I increase the number of charges on that surface, what happens to the potential? If I add more number of charges, I increase the charges on the surface, what happens to this potential? By this relation, very clearly, Q is directly proportional to V. V and Q are directly related to each other. So increase the number of charges. Potential also increases. The same way, take away some charges from the surface. Decrease the number of charges. Potential should also decrease. So my summary of discussion here is the charges distributed on any surface is directly proportional to its potential. When the surface mele charges na add martha hodre, a surface in a potential jasti agate. Ade riti charges na tegita hodre, potential kami agate. So yen conclude marti vi charges are directly proportional to the potential. Beautiful link. So if you observe here, I have told, if a charge Q added to a conductor increases its potential by V, then very clearly Q is proportional to V. Only proportionality symbol is there. I have a proportionality symbol with which a physical equation is not correct. So how do I eliminate proportionality? I have to introduce constant. So my dear students, eliminating this proportionality, I have introduced a constant C. Very, very conclusive on the discussion of capacitors, the word, the constant C. So, in Madhvi, proportionality symbol na eliminate Madhvi ke, proportionality constant in introduce Madhvi ni, that constant I call as C. And what is C? A very beautiful term called capacitance. C. Capacitance of a conductor. Crucial in the understanding of capacitors. C. The constant is called capacitance of a conductor. So equation na we arrange madre C can be written as Q divided by V. Gamandalirsi for any further discussion, any further derivation on capacitors, I require this C equals 
q divided by v hat sig to q equals c into v what did i call c as capacitance of the conductor so what is c equal to q divided by v so how do i mathematically define capacitance it is a ratio ratio of what charges stored on the conductor a conductor alli est charge accumulate agirutte a conductor alli est charge store agutte to the potential of the conductor q divided by v charges stored on the conductor divided by potential that is what we call capacitance clinical expression c equals q divided by v mesru the expression bardidare capacitance na q divided by v int bardidare ratio ant helidru charge to potential ratio na capacitance andru but what is the actual meaning of that my dear students capacitance means ability the alter the alternative word for capacitance is ability capacitance ke mattond word en helide ability ability to do what ability of a conductor to store charges nodi yes to beautiful agide capacitance andre it is a capacity or ability of a conductor to store charges on the conductor yes to charges na accumulate maarkobohudu adru ability estide adne capacitance ant kariyodu in which way it can also store electrical energy when i say it is storing electrical charges i also mean to say it can store electrical energy in the form of electrical charges that is what we define as electrical capacitance so my dear friends what was capacitance c equals q divided by v what is its physical meaning ability capacity of any conductor to store electric charges thereby what it is doing it is also storing electrical energy and that is what i call capacitance of the conductor so just to have a review what did we study q directly proportional to v more number of charges more is the potential less number of charges less is the potential or q equals c into v what was c capacitance of a conductor c equals q divided by v kindly kindly keep this expression in thought capacitance is always equal to q divided by v and what was the physical meaning ability capacity of any conductor to store charges and hence electrical energy fine now going further 
we will try to understand a very important unit called farad we will understand what actually is farad in the examination all possibility this appearing as a one mark question now we have told here farad is the si unit of measuring capacitance farad and reno it is the practical unit or si unit of measuring the capacitance of a conductor example kelbodu mention the si unit of capacitance of a conductor and the answer is farad the next question is when do you say the capacitance of a conductor is 1 farad nodi very interesting farad na yen ant karde si unit of measuring the capacitance of a conductor hagid mele when do you say the capacitance of a conductor is 1 farad now going back to the discussion i told capacitance is q divided by v ratio of the charge to the potential on a surface now what is my book work to understand when capacitance is one farad andre left hand side unity aagbekadre terms on the right hand side should also be unit measures which means if q equals 1 coulomb unit of charge coulomb balwa so q equals 1 coulomb v equals 1 volt only then c is 1 farad nodi charge q is 1 coulomb Potential is 1 volt, 1 by 1, 1. So C becomes 1 farad. So when do you say the capacitance is 1 farad? Simple, sir. If the charge is 1 coulomb, if the potential is 1 volt, then the capacitance is 1 farad. Alva. Charge 1 coulomb bagi. Potential 1 volt adre. Now capacitance na 1 farad. And karitive. Sari tappe nila. But slightly upgrading my thinking. I say. The capacitance. Of a capacitor. Is 1 farad. When. A charge of. 1 coulomb added to it. Capacitance of any conductor including a capacitor should be 1 farad when a charge of 1 coulomb added to it. What is the consequence? Increases its potential by 1 volt. When I add one coulomb of charge to any conductor, its potential increases direct relation by one volt. Then I say the capacitance of that conductor is one farad. Simply, let us not go by mathematical terms. We will put physical assertions there. 
ಸೊ ಯಾವಾಗ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟೆನ್ಸ್ನ ಒನ್ ಫ್ಯಾರೆಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ವೆನ್ ಅ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಕೂಲಂ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಟು ಅ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಶಿಯಲ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ then the capacitance is said to be 1 farad so agidre farad andre enu si unit of measuring the capacitance of a conductor now kindly look at this note the capacitance of a spherical conductor capacitor alla innu spherical conductor is given by c equals 4 pi epsilon naught epsilon r into capital r what is that expression giving me capacitance of a spherical conductor c equals 4 pi epsilon naught epsilon r capital r what was epsilon naught permittivity of free space air or vacuum epsilon r dielectric medium or dielectric constant of the medium and r is giving me the radius of the spherical conductor with this expression i move on to a very important book work which will actually lead to the discussion on capacitors kindly look at the question calculate the capacitance of earth we have been asked to calculate the capacitance of earth yavudru the capacitance calculate madbeku earth assuming it to be a sphere of radius 64 into 10 power 5 meter yenanka il heltar andre consider earth to be a sphere spherical conductor whose radius is 64 into 10 power 5 meter with this i have to calculate the capacitance of earth very beautiful calculation previous slide ali i have given you the expression for the capacitance of a spherical conductor what was the expression c equals 4 pi epsilon naught epsilon r into capital r and i have explained the terms also substituting for these terms for the value of pi 3.14 epsilon naught we have studied in our first chapter 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 split mark by the dynasty 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 epsilon r earth i assume to be surrounded by air or i assume earth is placed in an air medium and do remember dielectric constant for air is always one so this epsilon r for air is always one radius avare kottidare 64 into 10 power 5 so on substituting what am i getting 4 3.14 epsilon naught 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 epsilon r 1 dielectric constant of air radius 
on simplification the capacitance of earth turns out to be 7117.1 into 10 power minus 7 farad my dear students please do highlight on the calculation which proves farad is not the practical unit what is the value of capacitance i have got 10 power minus 7 farad very very small capacitance only 10 power minus 7 not even 1 farad to get such small value of capacitance my dear friends please note the radius should be 64 into 10 power 5 such huge radius yielding me not even one farad capacitance then what practical assumptions i can work out with capacitance david to artha markoli 10 power minus 7 farad one farad gintlo kammi capacitance nanak sikbe kadre 64 into 10 power 5 meter radius zero sphere beko. Hagidre higher capacitance ke yes to earth galla tako berli. Not possible, which clearly means farad cannot be the practical unit of measuring capacitance. Why? I require huge radius to get very small capacitance then how can i define one farad to be the unit of capacitance so what do i do i use convenient smaller units like microfarad which is 10 minus 6 nanofarad 10 minus 9 picofarad 10 minus 12. So these are the convenient units of measuring capacitance for the only reason capacitance value is very, very small with high radius. So what am I using? Smaller units of capacitance, microfarad, nanofarad, picofarad etc with this now i will try to understand what actually is a capacitor i firmly believe all of you have seen your resistors inductors nima tv circuit and check madre drive to mane log tv nu tegibedi don't dismantle the TV board, but the TV circuit has many electrical components like resistors, inductors, IC chips, and so on. Capacitor is one such electrical device. My dear friends, capacitor is an electrical device like resistors, inductors, etc. It is an circuit component in Thirvodo, a device, an electrical device, which is used as a component in a circuit. And what is it used for? Basically, to store electrical charges. My dear friends, a capacitor is an electrical device which stores electrical charges. And as told before, if it is storing electrical charges, it has to store electrical energy. So what is an capacitor? Basically, an electrical device. Yen madate the function yeno. Why is it used for? It is used to store charges and hence electrical energy. Practical silly. 
ಎಲ್ಲಾದರೂ ವೈವಾ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಗಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ದಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ವೈ ಡು ಐ ಯೂಸ್ ಅ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟರ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಚಾರ್ಜಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ನಾವು how do we construct a capacitor how does it look it will always have two conducting metal plates two charged metal plates nodi yerdu charged metal plates ide idana conducting metal plates ant karitivi the plate a is positively charged and the plate b is negatively charged how charges are accumulated slightly next i go there so a capacitor is an electrical arrangement which has two charged metal plates which is separated by a very small distance why just next topic i will discuss the two metal plates charged metal plates conducting metal plates which constitutes a capacitor should be distanced small there should be a small distance of separation ill on the practical inhibility ide ಎರಡು ಮೆಟಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ಗಳಿವೆ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆಪರೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಸಮ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ನೌ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ದೇ ಗೆಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಜೀರೋ ದೆನ್ ಹೌ ಡು ಐ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಚಾರ್ಜಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ i place an insulating medium between the two plates charge gal neutralize aagbardo total charge zero aagbardo i want the capacitor to store charges so what have i done i have placed an insulating medium between the two plates which is the best insulator air athwa one thin paper na place maadabodu insulating shield in place maadabodu but there has to be an insulating medium adana dielectric medium antu karithivi so what is a capacitor consist of two charged metal plates conducting metal plates separated by a small distance what should be present in between an insulating dielectric medium now to enhance my thoughts how do i pictorially represent a capacitor this is the basic representation of a capacitor two parallel lines ni ondu doddu idu on chikkad bardre it is a source a battery two parallel lines and this will always represent a fixed capacitor a capacitor whose value is fixed 2 microfarads 5 microfarads 3 nanofarads its capacitance is fixed but a symbol like this with an arrow this is called variable capacitor certain experiments i may require range of capacitance i use variable capacitor so this is a fixed capacitor this is a variable capacitor now the last definition i study but very important is something called dielectric strength 
and this definition also forms the principle of a capacitor this definition actually gives you what is the source core idea of using a capacitor now i told a capacitor has two conducting plates the plate a is positively charged and the plate b is negatively charged with an insulating medium in between and both the plates are maintained at a certain potential v what is the direction of the electric field from the positive plate to the negative plate i repeat two charged conducting plates positive negative maintained at a potential v naturally there has to be an electric field which is directed from the positive plate to the negative plate my dear friends the actual question is should i maintain the two plates at a larger potential or a lesser potential a yerdu charged plate galna maximum potential al maintain maadbeka athwa minimum potential alli so we know yes my mathematical expression told c equals q by v so very clearly the relation says if capacitance has to be maximum if i have to store maximum number of charges here potential has to be less because they are inversely related but my question is how the physical phenomena is justifying the expression very simple if i increase the potential what should happen to the electric field see i have discussed e is minus dv by dx so if the potential is increasing electric field should also increase alva see e is v by d potential by distance if potential increases electric field strength will also increase what will this strong electric field do artha maarkoli potential increase aadre electric field strength to increase agutte what will this strong electric field do it will beautifully ionize the surrounding air en madutte potential jaasti maadibuttidini so strength of the electric field has also increased what is the result the strong electric field has ionized the surrounding air yen ionized andre it has created charges more number of charges so what should happen all negative charges will flow to the positive plate all positive charges will flow to the negative plate alva air ionize aagtid hage more number of charges create agide yen martide aa charge galu ella negative charges positive plate ge bandibudutte positive charges negative plate ge barutte so neutralize agoyitu total charges zero agoyitu when only when the insulating medium has been broken down yavaga ee redistribution sadhya yavaga zero net charge agutte when the dielectric medium is broken down so what does that mean 
there is a maximum electric field which can tolerate the dielectric medium or the other sense this dielectric medium the so called insulating medium has a certain defined value of the electric field which it can tolerate a insulating medium is yella bari ondastu value of electric field and tolerate madutte above that the insulating medium is broken down dielectric medium is broken down and that strength is called dielectric strength so what is dielectric strength maximum value of the electric field a dielectric medium can tolerate without breaking of its insulating property above that value of the electric field the dielectric medium is broken down the insulation is broken down there is redistribution of charges and this is what is called dielectric strength and what is its value for air 3 into 6 10 power 6 volt per meter and this is what is called dielectric strength so therefore students what is a capacitor it is an electrical device which can store large number of charges under minimum potential so the entire principle of constructing a capacitor is to store large number of charges capacitance should be maximum under minimum potential so this is all what we study in today's class yen en odudvi capacitance q divided by v ability of a conductor to store charges farad as the si unit of measuring capacitance why farad cannot be used as the unit to get a minimum of 1 farad i use large radius practically not possible so i'm using microfarad nanofarad picofarad we understood what is a capacitor we told it is a device which store charges and which stores electrical energy and finally we told capacitor should have large capacitance ability to store charges should be maximum under minimum potential i hope students you have followed today's discussion my dear students whatever we are today is the consequence of whatever we were yesterday so whatever we will be placed tomorrow is the impact of whatever we are today this is what our swami vivekananda says so please be focus hard work i told hard work in nature can never never have any substitute let us meet each other in the next session with grouping of capacitors until then stay tuned thank you